Greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Shani Ferguson, and your Hebrew word today is, in fact, Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is potentially the most controversial city in the world. It's also the only city claimed as a capital of a country that is not automatically recognized by every other nation of the world. Its history goes back to the earliest days of the Bible. The mysterious Melchizedek was king of Shalim long before it was given the name Jerusalem. King David referred to its ancient name in Psalm 76 when he said, In Judah is God known. His name is great in Israel. In Shalim also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. Mount Zion, of course, is in Jerusalem. The Yeru in Yerushalayim is believed to be in reference to God seeing in the same way that God refers to himself as Adonai Re, or Jehovah Jireh, as you've probably heard it pronounced. Shalem means whole, and it is also where the word Shalom comes from, the famous word that means peace. If you're curious as to why a city whose name carries the destiny of being whole and full of peace is in constant turmoil with discussions of dividing it, consider that Jerusalem is likely God's favorite place on earth. In Psalm 87.2, God declares his love of Jerusalem above all other cities in Israel. When it comes to building a temple in his honor, he chose Jerusalem. Mount Moriah, on which Jerusalem sits, is the special place where Abraham showed his willingness to sacrifice his son and where our Father in heaven would ultimately sacrifice his. It was on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem where Yeshua ascended to heaven and where he said he would return. So it is no accident that that which is special to God will certainly attract the attention of his enemies who will fight hard to keep the name of the God of Israel from being worshiped there. Though Jerusalem is only called Yerushalayim four times in the Bible and over 600 times Yerushalim, today the city is only referred to as Yerushalayim. Interestingly enough, the Aim at the end of the word is indicative of a pair like Michnasayim, pants, Enaim, eyes, Yadaim, hands. Though no one has a solid answer as to why this is, some scholars argue it's simply a form taken when it was translated. But you can't help but wonder if that version of the name dominates today as a foretelling that Jerusalem has a double somewhere out there. The one we've heard of called the New Jerusalem.